guess what? Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents dun, 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 Fanfare Please Tuesday Reviews. And today it's another yarny kind of review. So I know those of y'all who aren't into crochet and stuff, stick around. You might learn something anyway. Or you might, you know, want to point and, and laugh. I don't know. Today it's yarn. Specifically, the Premier Home Cotton. Uh, this is not the Dollar Tree Cotton. This actually, I feel, oh, where did I order it from? I've had it in my stash for a while now. Look at this color, y'all. And this is like running out of the color because I made some things with it and I'll show you. This is called Orange Stripe. Doesn't exactly stripe exactly, but I love the way the colors work up together. To show you what uh, kind of a full ball looks like, these are full balls of solid colors, upside down of course, of the Premier Home Cotton. They are not what I would consider garment worthy. They're not bad, they're not super rough, but it's kind of splitty and it's more for home projects. That's not a bad thing. A lot of us make towels and washcloths and things out of this cotton. Now, the solid colors have 131 yards, which is 120 meters, 75 grams. The not solid colors have only 55 grams, really? 96 yards and 88 meters. Um, really? Come on, I get it that, you know, especially as you get to the larger quantities of yarns, that it's going to be smaller on the striped ones and stuff just because of the nature of it. But 20 whole grams difference, and it's the same price. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was like a couple of bucks, maybe a little less because I got it on sale. But it's an 85 cotton, 15 polyester. Uh, not 100% cotton, which is fine. The 8515 is perfectly fine to use for kitchen applications, including as hot pads and stuff, because the second side is polyester and not just acrylic. So, what did I make? I looked at this as an opportunity for me to practice crocheting in the round. I had a friend who said he wanted some coasters. Now, he is a dude. He does like these colors, though, but he doesn't want something fancy and frilly with a lot of detail work and stuff. So... I just made some round coasters out of this cotton because they could be tossed in the wash when somebody spills something on them and they'll be perfectly fine. Uh, as you can see, this one looks mostly orange. You can see a little bit of that color change there. Then, oh, which one came next? Then it was this one. I'm trying to figure out which one was next. I may not be able to. You get an interesting little divide there with a little, you know, Hey, here's a section up here from the middle, always working from the middle. The stitch definition is pretty good in this. These are just double crochets in the round. I'm not the best crocheter. So if that looks all right for me, it's going to look great for somebody with some actual skill. Okay. This one I thought was interesting. You finally started getting into that purpley color. Let's, let's show you the right side. Pardon. I'm back. Yeah, it had some weird, it wasn't just striping. It had some weird mixing of the colors there. Not mad at it. Just that's what it does. This is super good. I've made uh, towels, like hand towels out of it. And I've made washcloths out of it. Just, you know, basic, basic stuff like this, only squarish. And... It works up well. It's a little splitty, but most cotton is a little splitty. Not bad. Um, it's less splitty than the just cotton that you get at Dollar Tree. Some balls of that, I have had such a problem with them being all twisty and splitty. You know, when you start to work with it and you have to actually pick up your work and hold it up and let it spin for a while so that it doesn't, you know, torque you around when you're trying to crochet. So, yeah, and I, like I said, I did these four out of that one ball, and this is how much I had left so far. 
I'll probably do some more. I just did this while we were watching TV for a little while one evening. So I'm getting a little faster someday. But uh, is it worth it? Yeah. Don't expect to make a nice soft sweater out of it, I don't think. It may be a little better after you wash it, but I don't think it's soft enough for, you know, your, your, your masterpiece sweater. Just saying, get a better cotton. But for all of your home stuff, I really, I'm kind of in love with this color. Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of balls of it over there in my stash still. Well, it's mixed in with the just cottons over here. This is all of my little cotton stash. Kind of empty though, isn't it? I may need to get some more. <sighs> Maybe not. Not this week. But you never know what I'm going to talk about next week. Do a Tuesday review every, you know, Tuesday. Saturdays I do a vloggy thing and um, the occasional odd video popped in here and there. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell so that you get notified when I do finally post something. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like me to talk about in a review. Oh, and this? Yeah. It gets a thumbs up for what it is. And I just want to sit down and crochet some more with it because it really isn't bad to work with. And I'm just adoring looking at this nice, bright color. Very good, Premier. Very good. See y'all next time. Bye.